Good morning. We are up in North County all week this week because I am dog sitting. My partner in crime is in Las Vegas right now at a convention, so I uh, I get to watch the dog. So I have to stay close to home, and uh, this way I can just run home and walk the dog. Anyway, let's get started. Right. Got our McDonald's. That did not take long at all. They're not really very busy, so. We're up here in North County again. It's a Tuesday, so I have no idea how the day is gonna go. It is a little sprinkly out. I've only done DoorDash up here on like a Friday or a Saturday, so I'm not sure how during the week is up here, so I guess we'll see. All right, so this is a hand to me. We're at Beef Bear. Should just take a minute. Hold on, there. All right, and here you go. And who do you got? Olivia. 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 Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right, done and done. That is our first order today. All right, back in the truck, and let's head back to McDonald's. It rained, and of course, my windows are down, so it's got a wet ass today. If you're door dashing in a small town like I am today, I wanted to go through some pros and cons. So I'm gonna go through the pros first, and then I'm gonna kind of hit the cons. Okay, so uh, pros. What I've noticed, there's not as much competition as far as dashers go. I might see one other dasher in my entire day. Not like in Pittsfield where I might see seven in a day. So I feel like that's a pro. The other pro is every order, almost every order I'm able to take because the mileage is so short. My delivery area is not that large. If you've been watching me, um, Williamstown is five miles, uh, Adams is five miles. So either way, it's about a five or six mile trip. So the miles are low and the pay is pretty decent. So that's a pro. All right, so we got our second order here. And believe it or not, I feel like this person's a regular. So this is the second time I've gone to this house. So I actually know exactly where we're going. All right, load this up and we will be on our way. Let's make some room so that sits flat. All right, there we go. All right, this is a leave at my door. Okay. Let's drop this off quick. They're parked in a no parking, so look like a bunny. Snap that pit, sure, and we're all set. All right, okay, so he just got an order that I probably wouldn't normally take, but because it's Tuesday, we are in the small town, right? So anyway, this is gonna bring us up to like the edge of our delivery area. So we got a Target order. It's seven items. It's paying us $21. And it, the delivery is literally a couple of miles from a Target, but we're gonna rack up some miles going to Target. So we're gonna rack up about 11 or 12 miles to get to Target. So in total, this should be around 17 miles. All right, so we're here at Target to do our shop and pay. So here's the goal. It's 11.30 now. I plan to have this shopped and delivered and back in North Adams in one hour. So this way, our pay for this hour is $21. That's the goal. Target is usually pretty good about telling me uh, where things are in the store. So this is actually one of the better stores. So hopefully this 
goes off without a hitch. All right, got everything. Now we're just gonna ring this out and head to the drop box. So we got our order. We know exactly where we're going. We're actually going to BMC with this. So we're gonna take the uh, trail over the mountain here and it'll bring us pretty close to the uh, drop off. All right, so we're here at our drop off. This is BMC. Been here so many times. Anyway, so the parking here is scarce. There's a ton of construction going on. So <laughs> we just did what everybody else does and we just parked in the fire lane. So get our order. It's going to 207, which is literally up a flight of stairs. We're not even gonna take the elevator, so get this done. It's a little after 12, so we're running behind for our hour. We are in Pittsfield, so <laughs> we might have a decision to make after we're done. All right, this should be pretty easy. Just up the stairs. All right, we're going to 207, which I always 207. There we go. All right, Liz. All right, so we are back in North Adams. It's about one o'clock. It took us longer to get back than I thought. So, was the rabbit hole worth it? No, absolutely not. So that was a big waste of time and waste of gas. Well, I don't think it was a waste of gas, but definitely a waste of time. So, I was hoping when I did that target order that it might throw me a second target order to make it really worth it for me to drive all the way up there. So sometimes you have to test the algorithm to see kind of where it goes. So that was my test. So now I know next time I get one of those while I'm in North Adams, the answer is gonna be decline. Anyway, we are headed to McDonald's to post up and wait for our next order. Uh, our estimated time for an offer is a three to six minutes. So. Hopefully we get something pretty quickly. <laughs> now let's talk about the cons. So the cons I've noticed, um, it's Tuesday, it's slow. Um, I've been dashing for about a half an hour now and I've had one dash. So that dash ended up being $6. So I wanna say the con on a Tuesday in a small town is uh, the hourly rate is gonna go down. Uh, I don't suspect it's gonna be too busy on a Tuesday here in my town. Um, I didn't suspect it was going to be, so again, that's a con. Okay, another con. In my particular town, restaurants do require you, a lot of them require you to bring in your DoorDash bag because they wanna verify that you actually have a DoorDash bag and that you're a DoorDasher. So it's kind of a pain in the ass for me because I do have a um, catering bag but I just bring in my pizza bag and they seem to be fine with that so all right so we're here at craft food barn we got a seven dollar two mile so not a terrible order we are right on time hopefully things are ready or close to being ready we shall see all right hi Get our Skyler. Just gonna load this up quick and uh, head to the drop off. We did have to wait a little bit to get that order, but at least we got the order. So we're here to drop off it's Craft Food Barn. It's going right there. If we can. Get across traffic, that would be fantastic. Now 
Maybe. All right, here we go. 108 right there. And looks like it's apartment two. So we may have to go upstairs, but up we go. Okay, and that is the ball game. Now, well, we are definitely not having the busiest day so far. <laughs> anyway, we just got a $5 Papa Gino's. It's going two and a half miles, so again, not great, but we'll take it because honestly, I think I've been sitting for about 20 minutes waiting for an order, so it's slow. Alrighty, we got our Papa Gino's order. Didn't have to wait too long. We're just gonna leave it right in the bag, double insulated, <laughs> and uh, head on over to Harris Street, so it's not that far. Again, it's only like a two mile, so slow, but we will prevail. All right, so we are here at our drop-off, our Papa John's drop-off. This is a leave-at-the-door situation, so we're just going to pull that out. We'll get it out of there once we get up to the door. Super easy. Just a drop-off, take picture. So we're just going to leave that there. We're just gonna pull that out there. Take that picture. Okay, so it's about 2.30 and after sitting here for like a half an hour, I decided I'm just gonna call it an early day. I might come out for dinner, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. All I know is at 3.30 I gotta go walk the dog. <laughs> anyway, here's the stats. So the stats, we made 43.25 today in exactly four hours and one minute. That's our total time. Now, we only did five deliveries, but we did have that one delivery that paid us like $21. So that's the wrap up. Now, my takeaway, here's my takeaway from today, which is important. If you're dashing in a small town, I feel like my strategy for being in Pittsfield in a larger place kind of holds true here too. Keep the miles low. Anything crazy like Target comes up again, I'm gonna decline it. I'm gonna stay put, save my resources, and see what I can get just down here. So today was kind of a, I guess, lesson. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna, to think I'm gonna try Pittsfield tomorrow, but we'll see. The thing is, if I go to Pittsfield, I'll have to end early to come home for the puppy. Anyway, that's it for this one, and I will talk to you next time.